guitar is beautiful. Uh, it sounds it sounds great. It's um, something about this particular style of guitar um, really lends itself to finger style playing. It's got a it's got a really clear voice where those individual notes those individual notes really stand out when you play them. This guitar is a 1957 Les Paul Special. So what we decided to do with it was to do uh, an early 57 Les Paul Gold Top. With this guitar, it's about as complete as you can get. It is so close to an original Gold Top that you can buy for a fraction of the money as compared to you know, 100 to 150,000 for an original one. This one is basically almost pennies on the dollar. So what I'll do is I'm just gonna quick, I'm gonna quickly just take and just mark my fret surfaces here. That way, it's sort of what, a, what machinists do when they're wanting to get something level by putting a color on it, you can real quickly see the minute, in this case, the minute we start honing, lightly honing the frets, we'll actually see if there's any trouble spots on the guitar for him. So now that I got these marked, I will take my favorite file here, and we're gonna start aligning it. And what I do, is I take my file and I actually file and match the radius. What I do then is I actually have this nice straight edge that I will now take. And what this does is if there's anything that's very finely out of alignment, this will take the file marks off and it will also re-kiss everything to make sure it's in alignment. We'll take this and we'll just kind of clean the fretboard up a little bit, get a little bit of that residue off. And now what we're going to do is we're actually going to buff the frets. Make sure we got compound on our wheel. Now when I buff here, I buff at an angle. And what the angle helps me to do is round those frets off even a little bit farther. So you'll notice here that I'm going to actually start polishing lightly at an angle. So what, we're, what we did is we put the string through the hole. I give myself some few inches of slack here. Now we can see this string coming out of the hole. So what I'm going to do is take the string that's facing the fretboard end. We're going to wrap it over around the post and on top of that string coming out. I'm going to take my finger and take up the slack. We're going to fold that up. Now as you can see, that first wrap is on top of that string. I'm going to take my peg winder now, holding that tension, and we're going to start wrapping below. And if we see here, those two coils now are pinching that. When this tightens up, it's going to pinch on that string coming out of that hole. So all we're doing is just trying to get the finish flat. I'm using the fine grit sandpaper here just to get the finish nice and flat. Like I said, this already has um, some lacquer already on it, so we're just getting it flat between um, sessions. So a session can last about three or four coats in a day, and then the next day we'll sand it down and then um, put three or four more coats on. I'm 
now we got this pretty flat. We'll just wipe it down with some naphtha, our mineral spirits. Clean it all up. Yeah, this is a, a Les Paul type guitar um, made by a, a maker in Michigan. We do all his finish work for him. This is nitrocellulose lacquer um, that we're putting on here. We have a vintage type burst and vintage type uh, back stained with the bleeding cherry. So we're gonna add a couple more coats to this. It's already got the yellow patina on it. So um, by the time we're done, it's gonna look like it's it's got some age on it. So I'm gonna get my mask on and we can put a coat on it. I'll come back out to show you what it looks like. So we can see the difference between this side with the fine polish on it and this side with just the, uh, the rouge, the compound. This will then get hand polished with the liquid polish that really will take the scratches out, even what the buffer leaves behind. 